<sighs> now, I'm not gonna lie, this video has long been overdue and everyone has been asking me, Nick, what's in the camera bag? And now that I'm packing for an upcoming trip, I realize it's the perfect time for me to share with you guys a couple of recent upgrades I've made. Because trust me, while I've been traveling throughout Europe, there have definitely been a couple of new additions to the setup that I'm sure you guys are curious about. And over the next couple of days, we're gonna be traveling to several different countries. So I figured it's the perfect time for me to share with you guys what's in my camera bag for traveling around Europe in 2022. Let's get into it. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while now, you guys know that my gear pretty much changes on a yearly basis. And over the past couple of months, I've definitely been investing in some new equipment that has really helped elevate all the type of content we've been able to shoot. But first off, lately I've been rocking a new camera bag from a company called Tropic Feel. They actually sent it over for me to check out. But the reason I've been loving this bag is that it's very modular, meaning I can use it as a daily everyday backpack if I don't want to carry my camera gear. But it also has a bunch of different accessories and components that I can mix and match depending on the type of trip that I'm going to be taking, making it very versatile for me to store all the gear that I need. So let's go ahead and jump into the bag itself. But first off, you've got an open top flap. So as you guys can see, the backpack has kind of like a modular shape. But starting with the main component is going to be the camera cube. I realized that having something like a camera cube is very convenient. So for those days where I don't feel like bringing around all this equipment, I can just easily remove this and fill it with any other things I would carry in my backpack. We got a bunch of dividers for me to store different lenses, audio equipment, film cameras, neck straps. And so let's just dive into what I would normally carry. So this main component right here is basically where I would store my camera, which is going to be the Sony a7S III, which is boom, right there. And then in addition to that, I usually carry around two different lenses. So right now I've got my 16 to 35, which is great for those wide angle vlogging shots. And especially for a lot of these city and landscapes, you definitely want to be getting those super wide angles. So this lens pretty much comes with me everywhere else I go. In addition to that, I recently picked up the 24 to 70 G Master version two, which has primarily been on my Sony a7S III for the past couple of weeks. And I've got to say that this lens is an absolute workhorse. For 95% of my videos, it basically covers all the focal lengths I need. And it is tack sharp and everything about the lens is just so magnificent, it's lightweight, it's portable. And if I had to pick one lens that I was going to bring for any single trip, it would probably be that one. However, for those days where I need to be a little bit lighter and I still need to bring a prime lens, usually I will rock something like an 85 millimeter. And this right here is a Sony 85 millimeter 1.8, which is great, especially when I wanna get those B-roll shots or if I'm flying it on the gimbal and I need a lighter lens, this lens has been doing it perfectly. And then in addition to that, I recently picked up this brand new microphone. This is the Sony ECM. B10, I'll put up the exact name right here, but as you guys can see, it is, I need a size comparison. So this is not a super accurate size comparison, but it is a very tiny lens. And since it's a Sony microphone, it doesn't require any wires and it uses the electronic hot shoe to automatically connect your camera. So not having to plug and unplug the aux cable every time I'm trying to start vlogging has made my life a breeze. And then finally, it's just going to be a Peak Design sling strap. This pretty much comes with me everywhere I go, especially if I don't want to be carrying around my camera in my hand, just throwing it on a strap makes it super convenient. And basically on all my cameras, I have my Peak Design anchors. So the strap is pretty much usable with all my cameras. But that pretty much covers everything in the main compartment of the camera cube. And then right below is where I store some extra gear, which I definitely bring around with me on my travels. The first one is going to be the addition of a brand new drone. If you've been watching the vlogs recently, you know that I recently picked up the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Once again, not a great size comparison, but given the fact that it is so small and compact, just allows me to carry this drone anywhere I'm going. And especially while I'm traveling around Europe, I don't want to be carrying around a huge drone. So having something that fits in the size of my hand and still gets me that cinematic 4k quality has honestly been a game changer and now just being able to carry around these two devices and get that cinematic aerial footage has been bringing a whole new level to the vlogs and i hope you guys have been enjoying that footage so let me know what you guys think down below and over the next couple of days i'm definitely going to be flying this around so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications all right now moving on we carry a couple of other things this right here is from freewell and it is their magnetic vnd system basically a vnd is a variable neutral density filter but it essentially allows me to get the correct shutter speed when i'm filming in slow motion or if I want to get any sort of time lapse. And the great thing about this entire system is that it is actually magnetic. So as you guys can see, I can adjust it right here. And then whenever I need to swap it out, I can easily just pull it off and put on another mount. But it also comes in this nice carrying pouch so I can easily pull it out and grab whatever I need. All right, next up is going to be this little pouch right here, which has been used to store our microphones. So as of late, we've been rocking with the Rode Wireless Go 2 systems, and we've been doing a lot more interview style videos where we're going around and asking people questions. So just giving them this wireless microphone for them to talk into has been a huge lifesaver. And the fact that you get two wireless receivers means that I can also talk to them and you're getting some really high quality sounding audio. So both the microphones and the receiver all fit perfectly into here. And so anytime I'm not trying to use a shotgun microphone on my main camera, we'll definitely be using our lavaliers. And we picked up this little 
little Le Petit Prawns pouch that we picked up from Nice. All right, now next up, moving over to the top compartment. To be honest, I just kind of keep some other miscellaneous items. So this right here is just going to be an SD card case. So obviously we're filming a ton of content, meaning I'm going to need a lot of storage. I basically have like two 128 gigabytes, a couple of 256, and then some 32 and 16 gigabytes. And I'm not going to lie, somehow it always seems to get filled up. In this pouch right here, I just have an extra pair of earphones. These are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, but it's always great to have an extra pair of wireless earphones so I can connect it to my laptop while I'm editing. Or if my other pair of AirPods or headphones dies, I know I always have a backup pair. And they're so compact and portable, meaning they can fit into any sort of backpack. And then in the front pouch is where I carry my accessories for my iPad, which are brought to you by the sponsor of today's video, Paperlike. Now, if you guys have been watching the videos for a while now, you know that I've been rocking Paperlike screen protectors on my iPad ever since I got one. And for any sort of drawing or illustration needs, it's honestly been a lifesaver. I've been trying to get into a lot more storyboarding, meaning I'm gonna have to draw out every single frame of my shot. And using the Paperlike screen protector basically feels like I'm writing on paper, making it so efficient for me to bring the ideas into my head to life. But they recently came out with their Paperlike Pro Bundle, which includes these two accessories right here. All right, now this right here is the Paperlike cleaning kit. And let me tell you that this has been a lifesaver for all of my devices. So let me show you guys how it works. All you have to do is pump a couple of sprays onto your device. And this right here is actually a cleaning cloth. So you just kind of wipe it away as such, pump a couple more sprays on here. And you now have a sparkling clean surface. I'm not gonna lie, if there's one thing I hate about my devices, it's when I get fingerprints or dust or just smudges all over my screen. And then when you're done with it, all you have to do is slip it back into the case. And this has honestly traveled with me everywhere I've gone. Now they've also recently come out with their pencil grips, which not only provide you a more ergonomic support while you're writing, but it just gives you a more precise control, especially if you're doing minute illustrations. So for me, while I'm storyboarding or even writing notes in my daily planner, rather than the unnatural grip you get with their Apple Pencil, overall, it makes using the Apple Pencil a lot more enjoyable and more ergonomic. So combined with the screen protector and the cleaning kit, I've been able to get my work done a lot more efficiently and really get my ideas from my brain onto paper. So if you guys are interested to check out the Pro Bundle, it will be linked in the description down below. And like I said, I've been using paper like screen protectors for the entire time I've had my iPads. And every time I'm writing on it, it literally feels like I'm writing on paper. All right, now just a couple of other accessories I keep in my bag. In the top compartment, I have this small rig tool, which basically has all your components. So if I ever need a hex tool, if I ever need my Phillips screwdrivers, especially when I'm rigging up my cameras, having some sort of multi-tool saves me so much time. So this comes with me everywhere I go. Now, like I said, the great thing about this backpack is that it's very modular, meaning that they have other accessories that you can pair with it. So I've also got this packing cube, which basically slides in right here. And now I'm able to carry another pack of gear. Now what's in the packing cube is a lot more interesting because trust me, it is not closed, but now recently I have picked up the DJI RS3 Pro and I'm not gonna lie, this has probably been my favorite gimbal I've used to date. And I'll throw up a couple of shots that I've been getting with the gimbal, but everything about this product has been top notch and has really allowed me to elevate the type of content that I've been able to shoot because there's so many different shooting options. You can throw in a 360 degree roll. You can even film vertical content without readjusting your camera and the ergonomics of the entire setup make it very easy for you to pack up your gear. It also has an auto locking feature so that anytime you turn the camera on or off, it'll automatically lock all the axes so you can easily transport your gimbal so let me know what you guys think of the footage down below and i'm not gonna lie this thing has been an absolute beast and then in addition to that i've also been rocking my contacts t2 this has pretty much been with me on all my travels because it's such a light and compact film camera and you're getting some really stellar images all right now let's go ahead and move over to our day pack luckily i've been fortunate to have another camera person with me so that if one of us is carrying the backpack the other one is usually carrying some sort of sling because like i said i'm trying to capture the highest quality content possible which unfortunately does require a fair amount of gear. But first off, let's go ahead and talk about the sling. This right here is the Peter McKinnon X Nomadic collab because as someone who's been vlogging for a couple years now, I'm always looking for the perfect sling. And this has pretty much been the closest one I've been able to find. There are a ton of really great features about it because it even has this one-handed latch right here so that whenever I need to swap out a lens or grab something really quick, I can just easily latch it up like this and know that all my gear is going to be safely stored. But let's go ahead and talk about what's in the sling. So usually I will carry around with me another photo camera. This right here is the Leica Q2 and if you know, you know, but we've been doing a ton more photo shoots with this camera because the quality you're getting on this thing is absolutely insane. The colors, the sharpness, and everything about the images you get from Leica has honestly been pretty spectacular. So I've been super fortunate to travel around Europe with this camera. But then in addition to that, I have been shooting a lot more film as well. So if I'm not bringing the Contax T2, then I will be bringing around the Contax G1. It's obviously a little bit bigger than my Contax T2, but the images I've been getting from this are just so tack sharp. The autofocus is really spectacular, and it's honestly just made shooting film a 
lot more fun. And then in addition to that, I also have this on camera flash so that anytime I'm shooting at night, I'm still able to get some high quality images. And this combo right here is an absolute beast. Now, like I said, if I need to bring another lens, I can fit it in this sling. So sometimes I will rock my Sony 24 millimeter 1.4 G Master, but this lens is honestly one of my favorites in the collection because it's so sharp and you have that 1.4 aperture, meaning I'm able to get some really great low light shots. And then finally in the front compartment of the bag, I can carry things like my extra batteries because on our shoot days, we're definitely going through one, if not two of these things. And then as you guys can see, there are a ton of extra compartments for me to carry around SD cards, portable chargers, and things like that. And finally, this is just kind of like a daily carry pouch for me to store my chargers or any other journals and things that I need to carry around. So let's take a look at what's inside. This right here is a journal and the planner that I carry with me. As you guys can see, we've been pretty much filling up our days with all the different tasks that we need to get done. And being able to write down all the tasks on our to-do list, anytime I forget what I need to get done that day, easily able to open up my planner and get through my entire task list. And this right here is kind of a mini journal for me to jot down any ideas, notes, or editing tasks that I need to get done. So as you guys can see, anytime I need to figure out what I have on my editing doc, I'm able to easily write it all down and cross them off as I finish them. But sheesh, there are literally 15 videos that have pretty much gotten cleared and I'm pretty proud of myself for getting that done within this past week. So guys, don't forget to turn on your post notifications to see all these brand new videos. And then finally, there's just gonna be a little tech pouch for me to carry things like our portable Wi-Fi router, CFast card reader for the red Komodo, another SD card reader, and then a portable charger. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for what is in my camera bag. I know this video has been a little bit overdue, but while we've been traveling throughout Europe, I've realized that my setup pretty much changes depending on the type of shoot and the location we're headed to. But for the majority of our shoots, this is all the gear that we've been shooting with. And don't forget to check out the link in the description to learn more about the Paperlike Pro Bundle. And as always folks, don't stress, finesse, peace y'all.